another fall autumn harvesty crafting idea project that I absolutely love. You saw how stinking cute these things are and I just could not wait to show you. I'm obsessed with mason jars as everybody knows and I am obsessed with Starbucks Frappuccino glasses. And that's what those are. The taller glasses that you see in the picture of those cute pumpkins are the Starbucks Frappuccino glasses. And so this project is a win-win with either the Starbucks Frappuccino glasses or mason jars. And I love them both the same because I'm obsessed with both of them. So let me tell you what all you need for this project and what I used for it. You're gonna be painting either your Starbucks glasses or your mason jar glasses. And first off, before you even paint them with acrylic paint, you need to primer them because this paint will not stick to glass. Like even when it's dry and you go to do a second coat, it comes right up off of the glass. So whenever painting with glass, you need, especially with acrylic paint, you need to primer your glasses. So after I primered them, and I just used a gray primer, um, after I primered them, I picked up the apple barrel colors that I liked because I wanted them to be the harvesty colors, the reds, the yellows, the oranges. And so I used ripe tomato for the darker, for the redder one. For the more orangey one, I used apricot and for the yellow one, I just used the pure apple barrel yellow. Now let me tell you what I did with all three of these colors. Because obviously this apricot is a very bright orange, the yellow is very bright, and the ripe tomato is a bit red, I wanted them to be a bit on the muted side. And so what I did was, this was just a brown that I had already in my paints, and it's the, I guess, the Cermacote Tutorial Beige. And what I did was I added a couple drops of this brown to each of these colors. And um, because I knew it would kind of harvest them up a little bit and take the brightness away from them. And that was what I kind of wanted. I wanted that muted brown harvesty colors. Because you don't want to keep remixing your colors after each coat, I took my containers and I made quite a bit of each color. And you can actually see the color difference um, by adding the brown to this orange. And um, so I just did that with each color so I knew that I'd have plenty of color to do as many coats as I needed to do on the glasses. And I'm going to be honest with you, um, it took about three or four coats of these to get it, the, to get the coverage that I wanted on the glass. And so on a hot day, don't let that deter you because I just set my glasses outside and like five, ten minutes later, they were dry, ready for another coat. Okay, so Walmart has these cap assortments and um, they are wood cap assortments. This is what I used for the top. I think these were $1.84. As you can see, they're just the, you know, the plain wood with a hole in the bottom. And this is what I used for the top. You either need um, three Starbucks Frappuccino glasses um, in different sizes, or you can do three of the same sizes, but I like one big and two small. I just, I like that look a lot better. Or you need um, three mason jars and so, um, today I'm going to do the mason jars. Yeah, it is going to be two of the bigger ones and one of the smaller Kerr ones. And let me just tell you that I am completely floored right now because most of these projects, these fall projects that I'm doing right now are from dollar store items or not even the dollar store. It's the 99 cent store. And do you know that the 99 cent store has Kerr mason jars for 99 cents? I did not know this. This was not something I knew. So that to me, I was ecstatic over that when I was there doing my crafting on a budget shopping. So that's what you need. You need two of the larger, you know, the medium size ones and one of the small. You also are going to need something to put on the top. And I was at Walmart and I, you know, found all their floral stuff for 
$1.34. And I had even, um, in my prior video of the burlap pumpkin, I had told you that I like to use a lot of twigs this time of year in the fall and in Christmas time. And I don't particularly like to destroy my trees outside. And so I went to Walmart and I bought um, a twig wreath for I think it was $1.97 or $2.97 and I just disassemble it and I take branches and twigs off of it to use for my crafts. And so um, I have cut up uh, three different size um, branches that I might incorporate into the top of the lids, but I'm not sure yet, we'll see. But I have three different sizes, so we'll see what I'm gonna do with it. But that's what you need to do. So go ahead and I'm going to go and primer my glasses. I'm going to paint all three of them a different color. And, um, oh, and then the, the lids, that's important too. I'm sorry, rewind. Um, the lids, I also used that Cermacoat beige for the lids. And um, I also primered the lids as well, but I used this brown for the lids. So go ahead and get started painting your jars, painting your lids, and um, if you want to paint, and if you want to paint your uh, three caps, um, paint them the same colors as your jar and just mix all the colors into the cap. So I'm gonna go do that and I will see you back when I am finished and they are dry. Okay, so I am back and all my jars are painted and I've done all three of them. I love the colors they turned out to be. I've done my caps and I will zoom in and show you what we're gonna do from here on out and show you how exactly I painted the caps so you can get a better idea of what I did if I wasn't very clear um, a little bit ago. Okay, so look at how beautiful these colors are. I am in love and you can actually kind of see the the brown in the paint a little you know how it muted it versus making it such bright neonish colors but here are the caps and um you can see that i just kind of blotched it all on but made it kind of blended it so it wasn't oops so it wasn't you know just harsh colors and you know i wanted them all just to blend with um, a little bit of each color in them and I did add the green so I like I said I found these for $1.34 I kind of really like all the colors in them because it matches all the colors that I have painted my mason jars with so I think that I am going to use these and um, I love like these maple leaves so what I'm gonna do is just cut the maple leaf off. I'm gonna put my knob on first. With a bit of hot glue, not too much because we don't want it coming out the edges and showing. And then just go ahead and put that knob on the top there. We want the cur in front. So I think I will stick this right here. Okay, that is on there super good. Okay, so I think I'm gonna take the stick and I'm just gonna put it on the side. Look at how cute that looks. I love this. So there's that one. Let's do this one. The red leaf. Oh yeah, that's gonna look super cute. Thank you. 
quite dry yet. Oh wait, maybe it was. Oh my gosh. Look at how cute that looks. And now let's add one. I think I'm going to do something a bit different and maybe add like the berries. Look at how stinking cute that is. And I think I am going to add some of these to the back ones just to kind of, oh yeah, that finishes it off. I like that. Okay, so that looks super adorable. I think I need to do them at Christmas time too. So there we have it. These would be another great idea to place on the table at Thanksgiving as a centerpiece, or even if you have like an appetizer buffet during the day, you could put these sporadically on the appetizer buffet and it would be an adorable addition to your Thanksgiving decor on Thanksgiving day. And any other day during fall and autumn, I love these and I hope you liked them as much as I do. I hope you guys liked this video, so please give me a thumbs up for the fall decor videos that I'm doing and please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget, I'm having giveaways for every 100 subscribers. There's a giveaway, so subscribe, 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 and you have to stay subscribed because Everybody who's subscribed already is still eligible for the giveaways to win. So your name still stays in that bucket and you are still eligible to win one of my handmade creations. So until next time, everybody, have a great day. Happy crafting on a budget and bye for now.